I have 3,124 subscribers. I got monetized 35 days ago, and I'm currently making about 550 US dollars from YouTube every single month. So there you go. I've given away the one thing that I had to keep you watching until the very end. And if that's all you came for, you're welcome. Now f off. <laughs> for everyone else, I'm gonna reveal my plan to turn $550 a month into $550,000 per month. And why most YouTube channels will never get there. That is coming from the guy with 3,000 subscribers. But anyway, over a year ago, I was watching videos with a very similar title to this one. And even though I was clicking out of it mostly just because I was nosy for how much money they were making, there was also a little part of me that was looking for something to give me that little bit of hope and inspiration to one day do the same. And something did, and maybe these next few minutes we'll do the same for you if any coffee sponsor wants to do the channel for free just let me know when i started youtube in august 2021 for the first time in my life i wasn't necessarily doing something because i wanted to make money from it i was doing it because i truly just loved the process and everything around it. but really that's not entirely true. The ambitious side of me was also hoping that, you know, indirectly I would make money from doing the things that I loved instead of just directly chasing it. That is the crucial mistake I made and the reason why I think most YouTubers will never get to monetization, never mind 500k a month. When it comes to longevity on YouTube, it must be treated like a business because in reality, breathing is becoming very, very expensive and inevitably some financial burden will pop up in your life and this will force you to spend less time on the hobby that you love. That takes up an outrageous percentage of your time for something else that enables you to afford a four pound flat weight. And I just did not want that to happen to my YouTube channel. So for the sake of longevity, my YouTube became as much of a business as it did a creative outlet. And like any business, as a creator, there's gonna be one decision that you're gonna make from the outset that will either minimize or maximize the amount of money you make. That's whether you do YouTube or OnlyFans. It's not that, but I will give you a hint. It's a five letter word and its pronunciation has caused a divide in society for decades. So after I started treating YouTube like a business, I applied what I learned from starting, selling, and crashing a couple of businesses in my day. And I started to formulate content around the audience that I was creating it for, while keeping in mind the earnings potential at stake here. So now that my YouTube money ship was like pointing in the right direction, it still didn't accelerate how fast monetization was gonna take. So month one on my YouTube journey, I made a total of zero dollars. Month two of my YouTube journey, I made one sec, zero dollars. Month three, I made a total of 1,600, uh, 1600 views, zero dollars. And this trend continued indefinitely because to be eligible for YouTube monetization, you need two things. You need 1,000 subscribers and 4,000 watch hours, which fast forward one year, I still didn't have. And I realized the reason that I wasn't getting views was because my videos were quite shit. So I made a real conscious effort to try and make them a little bit less shit. And though they were shit, and <laughs> you know, probably still are, I would have done this indefinitely regardless of how much money I was gonna make. But my head, you know, this guy was telling me a different story. I needed something to justify the time and money I was putting into YouTube because without it, I knew that something was gonna come up and it would kind of sink further down my priority list. And then one year and four days after I posted my first video, one of them started to get some real traction. And the first domino was finally knocked and I got what I was looking for. You were always just one video away from changing your life. <laughs> and though that tweet is cringy as hell, it's true. My life did change after I released that video. Not because it sparked the monetization of my channel, but because for myself, I felt like I had earned a license to do YouTube for as long as I want to. <laughs> and it wasn't even that hard. It only took me 13 months, 63 videos, 1700 working hours and several several thousand dollars of investment. And like any good startup founder would do, every single penny of that is going into drink cocaine and hookers. Oh. <laughs> it's gonna be reinvested back into the YouTube channel to make better content for you guys. And that's where we're at now. So let's talk about how we're gonna maximize our YouTube earnings. First step of monetizing YouTube, buy a lamp stand that's actually tall enough instead of holding it freely with your left hand to get a cool camera angle. You can monetize YouTube in several different ways. And up until this point, we've only talked about one of them and that's AdSense revenue, i.e. the money that we make by you watching the ads you probably watched before this video. Thanks for that. Now you can also make money with brand deals, sponsorships, and you know, selling products around the audience that you're creating content for. Now you can find information on all of these channels elsewhere. So let's cut to the foundation of what will determine whether you make 1K a month or 50K a month through YouTube. And that's that five letter word that nobody can pronounce. Ouija, <laughs> your niche. 
You see, YouTube's algorithm can very easily determine what your video is about. And this dictates who it actually shows the video to, which then dictates what ads they show on the videos. And in niches where you have high intent audiences who have loads of money ready to spend and invest, advertisers are prepared to spend a lot more money. And the more money they spend, the more money we make. And this doesn't necessarily just apply to AdSense. This applies to sponsorships, to brand deals, because it's the same people competing for the same clicks. My left arm is nearly dead. I need to change camera angle. YouTube themselves don't officially release a list of niches and their corresponding CPMs, but we can look at some data online to get a fair idea of where the ranges lie. And using these niches as examples, you will make up to 30 times more off a million views in affiliate marketing than you will in lifestyle vlogging. That's $1,000 versus $30,000 for one video. Now it is worth saying that lifestyle vlogs have a much better chance of getting way more views than affiliate marketing videos because they're just a little bit broader. So you really do have to try and strike a balance here. I'm fortunate that the videos I love to make content on have a relatively high CPM and by no means should you make content on a niche that you don't like for the sake of the high earning potential. But every creator should be aware of the earning potential before they spend 1700 hours and several grand on their videos like I did. So how do we turn 500 a month into 500,000 a month? This comes in two parts, the hard part and the good part. This can be so overcomplicated by people online. So I'm going to try and encapsulate everything that people say about making money on YouTube into three words. Make better vi- It's my childhood stutter coming out there. Make better videos. <laughs> This is literally the only thing I care about right now because the better your videos are, the more likely it is that people will resonate with them and watch them. And ironically, chasing better videos should end up making you more money, not the other way around. Better videos are then determined by two metrics, CTR and AVD. The average view duration is how long someone spends watching your videos and click through rate is the percentage of people that see your video that end up clicking on it. And if you multiply AVD and CTR on an axis, you'll see a nice linear line for how much views you're gonna get. Actually. I lie, it's way more exciting than that. Because YouTube gains aren't linear, they're exponential. So 5% more effort on a video might yield you a slightly higher AVD and CTR, but it might get you 100 times more views. Now there is a sneaky snake oil salesman way of increasing that a little bit, and that's through this thing called clickbait. We won't dwell on it, I probably could have gotten way more clicks on this video by inputting some clickbait title and thumbnail, but when it comes down to long-term sustainability, people will realize that the title and thumbnail doesn't deliver on the actual video themselves, they'll end up clicking off YouTube will see that in the retention and they won't show your videos to anybody because you're a snake oil salesman and you know I think there's actually a bit of a shift happening with YouTube I feel like the epic over exaggerated video format is gonna fade a little bit and that you know people will still want entertaining videos but instead of like crash bang wallop they'll look for insightful authentic storytelling once upon a time there was <laughs> so that's the hard part let's skip to the good part 550k is a thousand X from where we are right now and a thousand X is thinking pretty bloody big and unrealistic if you ask me. But maybe the video that I'm going to play for you right now will inspire you like it inspired me. Now I'm certain this will bring up a copyright violation on this video which means I'm not going to be able to make any money from it but to get the point across it's worth it. Think bigger. Four years. It's now the 26th of June 1998. By the 26th of June 2002 the Coldplay or the band whatever they're called then will be known just all over man. We're going to be so Will, John and Chris. Don't you forget. Massive. Absolutely.